Tesla would hold the trend line on a day when oil was up over 4% and then run almost the same amount from its low a day. Let's go. If you watch my weekend video on Tesla, you'll see how I called where I expected us to be able to buy on the pullback for Tesla and where I thought it would retest the low and behold, boom. We'll look at SPY in a bit as we're really, really close to saying hello to happy days again, but let's look at Tesla first. If we go down to the five minute level, as all charts act and react the same, you'll see that we had an inverse head and shoulders building here. And around one o'clock, I messaged this to the Discord that I saw it. And then at 107, I said for Tesla, I'm a buyer if it starts to close above 256. And then at 136, I confirmed that not only was I buying Tesla, but I was buying Nvidia as well, as it also fired a buy signal. And after that broke the 256 neckline, it never looked back. Some of you may have seen my video on Palantir the other day, and you'll notice that it was up over 6% today. Here, that trade is now up over 13%. And SMCI went ahead and uh, dipped lower on the day, but then also went ahead and ripped into close. And that trade has been up as much as 6%, but is now up 5%. Before moving on to SPY, if you want more trade signals like NVIDIA, then make sure to subscribe and I'll tell you what I'm trading. Or join the paid Discord and get my signals in real time plus my feedback. Flipping to the daily and looking at yields, the bond market was closed today, so who knows? But the US 10Y yields got hammered. So this is really starting to look like a double top at resistance. And the VIX, even though it was up slightly on the day, intraday it was down over 10%. Now that's what I call a VIX crush. For SPY today, we're just gonna focus on the daily because it was a green day on lower than average buying volume and the MACD actually crossed above the signal line here, which is bullish. So when are we home free and I can start to remove these five wave impulsives to the downside and focus on an impulsive wave to the upside, which would lead to a fun rally into the end of the year, which seasonality predicts. Well, the Elliott wave rule says that the completion of this wave four cannot overlap with wave one. So once we break and start to close above 433.01, hopefully happy days are here to stay. And that rally that I'm talking about is full throttle. Now, tomorrow is turnaround Tuesday. So let's see what the market does as it prepares for PPI on Wednesday and CPI on Thursday. Again, if you want to see what I'm doing, then for $5 a month from the Patreon site, you can get all my algorithms, real-time notifications, and my feedback from the Discord as well. If you're struggling getting into trades, then this is a small price to pay to make 5% or more on a trade. That's all I have for now until the next video, and we'll see you then.